Going wonky. My think it's going wonky. Hello. I'm live. I am live on my YouTube channel. I've got some exciting news. This wasn't planned. Apologies. It's um, the kids went back to school yesterday, so I haven't quite got my act together. Quite. Um, so I'm just jumping on as an impromptu live. Hopefully, you will catch it on the replay. If you are watching on the replay, make sure you say hello. I have just had a Jolly Rancher. Uh, we don't have them over here. But um, if you follow my stories or social media, you might have seen that I caught up with my old pal, Chris Dorna, um, at last weekend. She came to stay and she bought me some Jolly Ranchers. Hi, Sam. Hello. Good morning. She bought me some Jolly Ranchers to try. I've never had them in my life. And boy, oh boy, they're delicious. Um, I think my favourite is possibly cherry, just for anyone that was interested in that. Um, but yeah, love Jolly Ranchers. Very nice. And I sent her home with a pot of Marmite to try. She tried it here, actually. Um, but I think, I think she might like it. And I love Jolly Ranchers, so I'm slowly making my way through them. Anyway... It's only going to be a short live today because I've got to go get my kids from school shortly. So it's, I don't even know what time it is here. It's half past one. No, it's 20 to two. No, it's not. That's how long the camera has been running for. Get it together. Get it together. I don't know what time it is, so I can't stay on too long. But I want to really quickly jump on and show you something exciting. So I did um, a little teaser project uh, when I was working on the Dixie Bell youtube channel a couple of days ago and i said that i was making something look like water for a reason so if you caught that live you um you send me jolly ranchers and you can send me hobnobs deal it's a done deal do you want the normal hobnobs or the ones with chocolate on um but either way i'll send you both and you send me jolly ranchers deal seal deal drop me a dm um yeah, so I was working on something and I was kind of making a kind of water effect. So if you want to go and watch how I painted this little table, go over to Dixie Bell YouTube channel and you'll see my live on there. Chocolate, of course. Of course. I I don't know why I asked. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I asked. I mean, is it even a question? I'm not sure. Um, hobnobs are the most elite biscuits in the world. I've said it. They're just mega. They're just. I will. I will get a packet next time I see Chris Dunn. I'm going to get her a packet. In fact, I might send her a box of British stuff and get her to try hobnob. Didn't even think of that. Um. Anyway, back to the table. Back to the news. Dixie Bell watermelon Jolly Ranchers are love yummy. I do like a, a watermelon. I've just had a fruit punch for the first time, but I just keep going back to cherry. Also, the blue ones are epic. Anything blue tastes phenomenal, in my opinion. Ice lollies, slushes, sweets, anything blue always tastes phenomenal. Um, anyway, maybe I should do a Jolly Rancher piece. <gasps> Maybe I should do a Jolly Rancher inspired piece with all the colours. <sighs> it lost me for a minute there. I'm back. Back in the room. Um, yeah, blue are the best, Kimberly. No, the cherry are the best. Okay, blue and cherry, level pegging. I can't, I couldn't call it. I couldn't call it. I have also had a little look on Amazon to see if I can get them here. And we can, but they're quite expensive. But they are nice. I'm not really a sweet person either. I don't really, I mean, you call it candy, we call it sweets, tomato, tomato. But yeah, I just can't stop. I look forward to my little Jolly Rancher um, and cup of tea. Um, anyway, back to the table. So if you want to see how I did the blended water effect, I used one, two, three, four blues. We've done a little kind of watery blend, a bit of mottled. And this is the reason why. Dun, dun. Done. introducing a brand new transfer design from Dixie Belt. So I'm going to quickly show you the six designs. So there's six brand new designs. You may have seen me post one last night on Instagram or Facebook, maybe. So that's one. 
This one is called Balance Transfer and it's fish. Now, I am not a fish fan. I'm not a fan of animals and things on furniture. I wouldn't say I'm a plain Jane, but I like to play with paint effects. Less so kind of things on. But this little one caught my eye. I don't know if it's the colours or... I don't know. It's just very pretty. And there's a load of different fish. Koi, I believe they are. Not that I am a fish ex expert at all, but there's loads of it. It's a four sheet transfer. One, two, three, four sheets on there. You get a sheet where they're kind of overlaid a bit more. And then you get sheets where you can cut the separate elements out and make your own design, which is what I've done on this tabletop. So I've kind of made it look a bit flowy, quite organic. I haven't kind of filled the whole of the table because I didn't want to kind of overpower it. So that's design number one. Design number two is rustic herringbone. So obviously the trend around raw wood at the minute doesn't do us furniture painters any favours whatsoever um, because, you know, makes us redundant of a job. But with this, you can give that faux wood effect to pieces that aren't wood or that are undesirable or that have got damage. So this is quite a trendy, trendy transfer. I can see this being used on a lot of tops that you know like that's not sort of solid wood or it gives you that really nice kind of herringbone effect and there's four sheets of a continuous design in there so you can lay them out flat you can put them on drawer fronts and it gives you you know when you've seen people do like the lolly sticks I think Shane has done one um the other another brand ambassador who's based in the UK she's done like lolly sticks and made her own I mean if you've got time to do that then fair play but I haven't so that's where this bad boy comes in so that's design number two, numero deux. This is my all-time favourite out of these, I think out of all the transfers ever that Dixie Bell have released. It's right up my street. It's called Embroidered Lotus, and this is the one that I posted last night on social media. So it's got four sheets, two huge lotus flowers, and then a load of separate elements underneath. And then this is the sheet that I used on my pen pot slash um, paint brush holder and it's continuous design sort of like a, a wallpaper design if you will so if you didn't see that last night i've got it here for you so this is just um it's like a desk tidy that i got from tk max years and years ago and it's um, made in india it's, it's still got the tk max ticket on it um we don't need that I like, uh, uh, TK Maxx do this range of like really rustic kind of Indian wood, which is my bag. Like, I love it. And this pen, this pen thing is sat on my desk and it's been plain and I just thought I'd zhuzh it up a little bit. So I just whack the transfer straight over the top of the wood and I love it with just wood, not on a painted background. I think that contrast is absolutely gorgeous. So that's the continuous sheet. And then I've got absolutely stacks left to do another piece as well. Um, so that's design three. Design, oh no, that's, we've already had that one. Design four, vintage post. These are always super popular with kind of vintage pieces because they go so well with old furniture. So again, you get four sheets in there. It's a black and white design. Hi, afternoon, Anne-Marie. This one, this one's another one that's caught my eye. You know I like colour, you know I like a bit of boho. This one's called Bohemian Wedding and it's pretty, it's floral. Again, it's got two, it's got a design that's split into two sheets so you can put a huge design across the front of a dresser or something and then it's got all these little separate elements that you can build your own with. So it's super versatile and it's pretty colours as well. We've got some blues we've got some neutrals some soft pinks and then it's got some like drippy gem things there which are pretty and finally dewy morning dewy morning uh just dewy morning dewy morning transfer so again four sheets these are all separate elements in this one so you can build your own with this. It's super versatile. You could stick with one particular colour or you can mix it up and use all of the colours on there. And there's also quite a lot of greenery on there too. 
There's some roses, there's some hydrangeas, there's some an anemones, amen, anemones, I can't ever say that. And then there's some sprigs of greenery, looks like a little bit of eucalyptus. We've got some butterflies and there's also a little bit of lavender going on in there as well. So that's six, six brand new transfers from Dixie Bell. Currently, they're only available from the Dixie Bell website, which does ship globally, but they are with retailers very, very soon. Um, a lot of retailers as well are taking pre-orders. So if you do buy from a retailer and support them, go to them first and see if they're doing pre-orders. And even if they're not, they'll might put one to one side for you. So I'm gonna spin you around. Excuse the camera here. This is gonna be a YouTube video. So I'm gonna show you, I've placed this order on. I haven't, I'm not doing a transfer on a live. I'm not, I'm not doing one on a live because nobody wants to see me cutting up pieces of transfer and then rubbing them on. It makes not great viewing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I will be chopping this up into a YouTube video that will be on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. Um, so it's just a long process, especially because if you can see this design here, it's basically all separate elements that I have cut out and overlapped onto one another. And sometimes you need concentration to do, <laughs> to do something like this because um, you kind of have to make sure that it's right way round and then you have to rub and then trying to do that on camera it's just it just doesn't make for the greatest live so i'm just going to quickly show you how i seal my transfers i gave this top there was a little bit of texture on here a little bit and i did give it a light sand and i've got areas on the edge where i caught it a little bit too much with the sander but i'm going to seal it and then what my plan is, is to dry brush a little bit more of the blue around here. So it's a bit more tonal. I might put a little bit more deeper blues around. So if you are planning on painting over a transfer or introducing paint, even if it's near a transfer, seal it first. I'm sorry if this is dark. I'm kind of blocking out the light, aren't I? I'm just going to turn my, my camera on. Um because I've done that before I've gone to film I've gone to edit a video and then I've realized I've forgotten to turn my main camera on and basically just missed a whole chunk so super quick to seal I'm using clear coat in satin um and I have barely used any of this transfer um thank you Kimberly it's a little bit different to what I'd normally do I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna, whoa, are you okay? <sighs> Nearly lost you then. I, I'm not a massive transfer user. I've said it, look at my hair, what's going on? Um, not a massive transfer user, I will say it. They're not my first thing. I am a stenciler decoupager. That's, that's my bag. I love a bit of those things on the right piece. I am so sorry about my hair. I got caught in a thunder two thunderstorms yesterday and I got absolutely drenched. Washed my hair last night, went to bed with it wet. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm not a massive transfer person. I don't know why, I never have been. Um, so, I thought I would pick this one with fish because it kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I think it's good to do that every now and again. Sounds a bit cliche, but I do. So I was like, I'm going to do the fish. I am going to do the fish and I'm going to make it work. And then we went for the bluey theme and all the things. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't. I look dog rough, but thank you. Um, rough and ready. That's, that's just how I am. Okay, so apologies if this is a bit dark. I'm trying not to... I'm trying not to block all of the light out. <clears throat> I've got the window is behind me. So, there we go. Okay, so if you're gonna tinker around with anything to do with a transfer, i.e. like I am going to add a bit of paint over this, I think, <laughs> I think, um, it's always best to seal it first. So I'm just gonna take my clear coat satin and I'm just gonna put a really light coat straight over the top. 
I always use satin for transfers. You don't have to. Um, but it's, I find the easiest one to, to use over transfers. It tends to seal them really easily. Very, very little brush strokes. And I'm not going to seal the entire thing yet. I'm just going to seal the transfer. So I'm going to do two coats of this. And then I'm going to... I think I'm just going to add a little bit more blue. Because when I sanded it, I knocked some of the texture out. And... It still looks okay, but I think it can possibly do with a little bit more tonal range in there, maybe. I don't know. Am I making hard work for myself? I usually do. I usually do. So that is it. That's all you need to do to seal a transfer. I'm using my mini brush, which is a synthetic brush, and this stuff, which is clear coat satin. Um, I assume that everybody's watching knows, and that's not often the case. It's not often the case. So I'll, uh, I'll always try and make a point of kind of speaking to people like they don't know. So apologies if you do know, and I'm just teaching you how to suck eggs or whatever the expression is. I don't know. Is that the expression? Teaching you, teaching your grand how to suck eggs? Oh, I don't know what it is. Something like that. So that's it. That's all you need to do. The name of this transfer is called, you're testing me now because I haven't even had these very long, balance. Fishes, balance. I presume it means balance as in a bit zen. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And I've just realised I moved that table out of the way so my camera didn't pick it up, my other camera. It's technology. I'm... <sighs> annoying so yeah that one's balance it's a four sheet transfer loads and loads of different fish but really pretty colors i mean it looks better out of the tube than it does in the um pictures on the front don't do it justice but it's got loads of little pretty flowers water lily pads and it's really pretty so you can layer it over the top of one another and make it look you know like the fish are swimming around on top of one another that's kind of the kind of the idea that i was going for on this one so, <clears throat> what else have I got to tell you? Oh, stealing transfers. So, because that's a tabletop and I'm going to be applying a bit of paint over it, I've sealed it with clear coat because if you get moisture underneath your transfer, i.e. by introducing something like paint, then you run the risk of your transfer lifting. So you do need to seal it first. Like I said, because it's a tabletop, I've gone for satin clear coat. It's quite tough. It's quite hard wearing. This, this was actually sealed with um, Easy Peasy Spray Wax. So for something that's more decorative, for something like this, it's not going to get a lot of use. You know, it's not a dresser top or it's not a table top. Um, then Easy Peasy Spray Wax is the easiest thing to seal transfers with. Um, you can also use Best Dang Wax to seal transfers. The only products that are not advised to seal transfers with is anything oil-based. They don't really like hemp oil, Big Mama's Butter, and they do not play nice with Gator Hide. For whatever reason, don't know. But those are the things that I would usually steer clear from um, to kind of... Mix, they don't mix well with transfers basically so that's what i'd stay clear from but it all depends on the usage so like i say because this is a tabletop you do want to kind of give it a little bit more protection and if you did want to use gator hide for that extra level of sort of toughness what you can do is seal with satin like this and then you can put gator hide over the top just don't put gator hide directly do you use a finishing pad and burnish the edges? Yep, you can use a finishing pad and burnish the edges. I use a microfiber cloth. Um, you can do it with your finger, but you run the risk of gouging the transfers. So I just use a microfiber cloth because I use them all the time and I always have one knocking about and then just rub the edges to burnish them and that gets rid of the, the halo. And then when you seal them, that halo starts to disappear as well. Um, so it's not a it's not a sort of tutorial on how to how to apply transfers. Like I say, I'm not sitting here rubbing transfers because you'll all be bored. I promise you'll be bored. Um, 
but I will be chopping this into a, a proper video where I'll talk through the steps on for the Dixie World YouTube channel. Uh, proper, proper edited video. Not one of these slapdash ones where I don't even tell you I'm going live and talk a load of stuff about Jolly Ranchers. Um, so yeah, it all depends on the usage of your piece. I think that's all I was going to say. Um, lightly used stuff, you're fine with your Easy Piece Spray Wax, Best Dang Wax. Definitely if it's on the front of a piece, because you don't really get a lot of use, you know, it's not like hot things are placed on it. If you've got the front of a dresser, I would use one of those because it's super easy. But then again, so is satin. Just depends. Just depends. Personal preference and what it's going to be used for, really. Um, but aside from that, that's that's all I've got for you. And I really don't know the time. I should have checked the time before. I, <laughs> I should have checked the time before I came on the live. Um, I've still got no van, so I'm I'm walking everywhere, which is not a bad thing. Um, unless it's thundering and lightning like it was yesterday. So I saw a huge black cloud that way, which is normally the direction that our weather fronts come in from. And I was just setting off to get the kids from school and I thought, I'll just get the washing in just in case. Got the washing in, got to school. I could hear thunder in the playground and everyone was so prepared. Everyone was prepared. Everyone had umbrellas. Everyone had raincoats. There's me with a neon yellow top, which when it gets wet, it also goes see-through. So I'm there like some kind of drowned rat, mascara down my face, see-through top on in a child's playground. <sighs> That's how we roll. And then got back, cooked the kids tea, dried off, got changed. It brightened up. I thought, well, let's go walk, take the dogs a walk. We'll go across the fields. Store number two heads in, store number two heads in. Um, it's okay because I did need a shower. So yeah, got absolutely drenched. The second one was probably worse. I was about three or four fields away from home. Um, my mum lives a few miles that way. She rang me and said, you walking the dogs? And I said, yeah. And she went, you're going to get wet in a minute. And I was like, nah, it's going to miss us. I can see the cloud. It's going to miss us. It's going to bypass us. And then I heard the rain. And it was like someone had threw a bucket of water over me. So <laughs> I got absolutely drenched for the second time. And it's humid here and it's supposed to be thundering again. At guess what time? School pickup time. So I've got waterproof mascara on. And I'm not going to wear a top that's see-through. But I haven't got an umbrella. And I don't know where my raincoat is. So we just have to hope for the best. And maybe I might be able to get a lift off someone on the way back. Someone that takes pity on me <laughs> because my van still isn't fixed. So, anyway, thank you for joining me on that little weather rant and my Jolly Rancher rant at the start. I am going to carry on with this table, edit the video, get it sent off to Dixie Bell. They will pop it on their YouTube channel and you can see my fish table because uh, I love it. I love my little fish table and I'm really glad I picked that transfer because it is completely different. Um, thank you, Kimberly. I can't guarantee that I will stay dry, but of course I will be putting it on my stories on Instagram, should I get wet. I like to laugh at myself um, because I think that's important. If you, can, if you can laugh at yourself, then you're okay, aren't you? So yeah, short and sweet today, but again, don't know the time. So hope, or oh, just heard the, church it only struck once the church bell struck once that means it's one o'clock i don't think that's right I'm pretty sure that's incorrect so yeah it only struck once anyway right i'm out this is getting bizarre um i need to go and check the time i also need to go and figure out some suitable clothing to wear <laughs> for the school run and i'll catch you all in a bit um yeah i've got nothing else to say goodbye